Hello, this is Nikki in Niagara coming to you from Niagara Falls, Canada. And today I am still playing catch up and we will be working on the February mission inspiration from Mike Deacon. Uh, he has a Facebook group dedicated to this and I will leave the link for that down below. So, February's mission uh, has eight prompts. I believe they all have eight prompts. Our suggested color scheme is brown, red, and orange. So I have uh, gathered a bottle of paint of those, of those three colors so that I can just look at them and make sure I stay on color. Our uh, suggested words are industrial, mechanical, whimsical, revolutionary, and futuristic. So our, I have, have a couple of things that I know I'm going to do, but I'm not really prepped for this. So who knows what we'll end up with. First mission is cover your page with tissue text or newsprint okay now i am working out of a collage packet that i have on this on the side here um there is some tissue paper in there but it is hot pink and that is not going to match red brown and orange i don't have any newsprint in there uh, i do have lots of text so that will be what we start with. We will cover our page text. Let's, see, let's grab this. Oh, I have, a, I have another piece of... Oh, hang on a second. I have another piece of tissue paper in there. And it is like a very light orange with gold and white dots. That could count as orange. Then would red look good with that? Yes, and brown, yes, obviously. Oh, okay, I think that's what I'll do. I'll put this on. So I've prepped my page with, this isn't um, actually this this came wrapped around it's, um, a bath bomb okay so it is just one layer it's um, a little bit thicker than normal okay so it's pretty it's pretty wrinkly so let's just do the job properly <laughs> and we will oh, I have to take this cardigan off it's got fringes on the sleeves so uh, yeah let's cover the page with it right so where's my glue yes okay today I'm opening up a bottle of Rangers glue and seal which I have never used before and not likely to use it again but it was in a clearance bin at Michael's so I bought it to try it and my glue brush and let's go to it oh it's quite thick so.
Okay, so let's just make sure it's stuck down. That's, there is a credit card. There we are. It's a gift card, not a credit card. But you know what I mean. Okay, mark it down nicely. It's got some nice wrinkles in it. Step number two is add a thin coat of spritzed, spritzed, spritzed ink or color. Okay, so that means I'm going to have to spray some color. So that leaves me with my inks. So I'm just going to go over to my inks and I'm going to see red, brown, orange. I'm back. So I've got some Orange Dilutions Tangerine Dream and some Red Dilutions uh, Poison. Is that Poison? Postbox. <laughs> I think it was Poison. Postbox Red. And then I have some Tim Holtz uh, Color Wash in Espresso. So. Are going to spritz. Let's start with a bit of the brown. That falls nicely. I like that. Okay, now let's do the orange. I don't know if you're supposed to. I'm gonna, oh, still have the plastic wrap on it. spritzer's not working on that properly. I don't want to mess around with it right now. Okay, and then we will put, actually, I don't like how wet that is with the orange, so let's just give that a wipe there. There we go. Now, let's put some red. our brown. Let's do that again. There we go. That's good. I like that. So I'm going to dry that up. But before I dry it, let's read what the next one prompt is and see if I need to get anything. Add tinted texture paste through a stencil. 
Okay, so I'm going to dry this and get my stencil and paste and we will be back. I'm ready to do the next step. Um, I didn't want to tint my own texture paste, so I have two colors of that. Mint green, which obviously will not go, and the other one is gold. And this is uh, Heidi Swap's metallic texture paste in gold. So, let's put some of these. I think these are supposed to be like, I don't know. To me, they, they remind me of gemstones. So, that's what I'm going to call them. So, let's put some down some texture paste. That's plenty. And... Oh, that's cool. Oh, I like that a lot. Nice, I like that. I'm just going to clean off my stencil. Okay, so I'm really liking it right now. Now I don't know if this light is making it easier for you to see or worse. That's it with no glare. Looks pretty dark. And there it is with the light covering the whole thing. Well, I'm going to go with that as being the better one. Let me know if it's any different. Okay, so what is the next prompt? color string or twine and add to page. Hmm. Now, I'm going to have to think about that, so be back in a second. Okay, I have no idea where I'm going with this. I have some string. So, I'll lay that down here. And we are going to use ink on it to color it. Okay. Now, my question is, what the heck? Oh, that looks good, doesn't it? Oh, I have to do this side, too. Okay, what am I going to do with it at this stage? Like, I could see if I had a picture. But, to just add to the string. Well... I would like to kind of bunch it all up. So let's start with that and make a bunch like that. Or maybe across 
bottom. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. Alright, so now where's my... Uh, where is my... Oh, here we go. Okay. So, let's put some of this down. Oh, this is a messy page. This glue is almost done. But there's still lots in there, I can tell. This doesn't want to come out. <laughs> come on, you. Okay, this is new territory for me. Okay, so I'm going to have to do something with that to get the glue out of it. Hey folks, this, I don't know <laughs> what's going on with this. All right, add one or more steampunk style focal images. Okay, so at this point, I did have something picked out because it's not like I have a ton of steampunk things just laying around. So now I have this picture of an old uh, lamp post from a 1930s magazine and I thought that these things right here would create a body for a steampunk person. So, I am going to cut these out off camera and uh, be back to you in a few.
quite a while, but I did piece together my own little steampunk metal person. So, I'm going to adhere him to, oh, I was looking for my glue stick. Good. Okay, so we're going to adhere him to the page now, so we need the glue again. So it was a little tough having put that string down first because I had to make my I had to make my person fit. Okay, and this is going to blur up all the ink. Well, let's hope I've got her in the right place. Okay, now I'm not sure what to do. This is going to... Yeah, well, that's okay. It's kind of distressing it. Right, I just don't like the way it's all dark around there, but we will see, we will see. Okay, next. I don't know what number we're at here. It says, okay, we're on six. Add a headline or quote or phrase. Okay, dokes, let's get my, I have to clean off that. Let's get my uh, word box. Where did I put that? Oh, there it is. Now, first of all, I'm going to dry this up so that I don't get color everywhere. Here, don't lie down, stand up. Not sure if it suits my picture, but my steampunk creature is standing up, so I hate putting it just in the corner like that. first thing I have to do is um, distress that. Alright, that's better. It was too, too, too white. What I don't have enough of is red on this page. So let's glue that down. Grab the glues. Okay, <laughs> I can't find anything. Oh. I'm making a mess. <laughs> 
over here. <laughs> Just spilt water all over my prompt sheet. We can still read it. At least the last ones. Okay. So, we are just going to add this very gently over here. Be careful not to touch the ink already on the page. Okay. Then it says add metallic metallic elements, paint, ink, foil, etc. Okay, well pretty sure I have some red metallic paint. We've got some oh I know. I think I have some red glitter glue. Those are just glitters. I thought I had glitter glue somewhere. Mm, I do. It's over here. I have some Elmer's red glitter glue. It looks like it's ready to go. It is glue, you know. Oh man, you have to push hard with this stuff. Oh, that hurts the hands, the thumbs especially. Is it open all the way? Oh, it doesn't look like it was open all the way because now it's working. Okay, now part of me wants to just put some glitter on this. in a circle. There. Okay. That added some interest. Not bad. And the final prompt is to finish with frame or border of your choice. Okay. So, think what color should we use? There's not a lot of orange, but I don't know if that will work. Let's get an orange pastel. Looks like there's one sitting right there for me. What color does that come up as? Mm -hmm. yeah, well, let's draw the line in orange anyways.
Okay, and then I'm going to do brown. There's a brown pastel. There's one. Okay, so there we go. That's all the prompts done. Um, I can't say I like it all that much, but I suppose I've done worse. Oh, I love that gold texture paste. I have to use that more. And the red really did spruce it up. See, so yeah, a strange color combination for me. Uh, I put brown and red together, and I put brown and orange together, but not all three of them. That's new for me. So, we will just stamp this with the date, which is something that I've been trying to do on a regular basis. And then we will call it done. So thank you for joining me. If you made it this far, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, then subscribe down below. And don't forget to ring the bell for updates. Thank you for joining me. I will see you next time. Have a nice night. Bye-bye.